So the calibration basically it checks to see how your body reacts to certain stimuli and calculates a me uh, whatever kind of a happy medium. And this is just an adjustment of the computer to uh, the situation right now. And I don't think this part is really critical, so I want you to just sit back and relax okay. and make sure your hands are separated. And so, because what happens is if your hands are crossed, then it sticks the reading, kind of, you know, crosses the reading, whatever. So, and I don't know if you saw them, but uh, I have several videos on it. I think they kind of hide some of my videos. too much and they're changing and then we can go here and so there are certain ways that some people go more they go into more in-depth questioning and answering and you know trying to dig up the information on the computer basically what I did was I just uh, I just go from the screens rather than trying to interact too much um, uh, with questions and answers and things, I don't know. That's, for, that's just the way I do it. Uh, and when I first got into this, you know, it was like, I'm not really into computers, you know. I know how to do the internet and stuff, but, and it was like, I said, there's a thousand pages on this thing. Many of the pages are very similar. But uh, I, ha I had someone help me. Basically, I had a couple of people help me. And then you go on the internet, and there's all kinds of information on the internet. Oh, okay. So it took me about maybe two years to, before I was comfortable with the software. Mm -hmm. um, so, and what we're going to do is this is this is typically what I do is I'll go to the risk profile, which is a it's like a comp it's a compounding of the data that we've received <clears throat> and so here it's showing high and it shows it's on a lot of people food poisoning it's related to leaky gut sugar reg sugar regulation you know, everybody has a sugar re regulation problem because there's so many refined foods it's right. refined sugar everything has sugar yeah right <clears throat> and anything over 100 is is kind of having a stress stress effect on your on your and body this is number on that. Two. Two. and so yeah it's like actually pretty low it's not uh, and what we can do is we can give therapy for this uh, right now so basically I click comes up here and then we just go there's certain verbs on here that I can't really say because I'm not a medical doctor I'm just a certified biofeedback technician so um, on some of these, it uses this T R E A T word, and I have to use uh, de stress or uh, reduce yeah. stress. Yeah. Um, so yeah, other than that, um, let's let's look at now these these are the things that are related to what's happening uh, currently. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Why isn't that moving? Um, okay, let's go here. This is. Let's see, I clicked the wrong one. But uh, okay, so these are some things that were that are having some effect on you. This is 500 megahertz to one uh, gigahertz frequency. It could be a Wi-Fi or some sort of signal, cell phone signal or something. Right, mobile, turn off my cell phone. mobile phone radiation. Yeah, probably. <laughs> when I first started, I, I put my phone right on that because I figured, well. Maybe my phone would work as an amplifier, but it was actually picking up the radiation from the phone. Uh, so okay. it was having kind of a, it was like going, like, yeah, well, there's too much radiation in this room, you know? <laughs> so what we can do is we can actually give you a therapy to help reduce the effects of that. And so I'm going to make a report here. 
And so what I what I do is basically each page that I go to I can add data. Uh, and so let's see where were we? This was back to um, risk profile, which is like I said, um, a condensation of the test that we did earlier. And so this is this is the what I call the virtual VR. It's also a condensation of the test. There's a lot of information, and these little pages that help condense the information are, are very, very useful, and they're very useful and help me get a broader picture of what's going on. Okay, so here it says hydroxyl. I'm not sure what some of these terms are, but it's this is related to something. And then let's see, grass. A uh, golden rod allergy. You may have a the golden rod grass allergy may have an effect on maybe producing an effect on your immune system that's kind of weighing it down. Um, this is hemp. This is hemp. We get the paralysis one half of the body most caused by brain lesion or stroke blockage. Now this is like 85% accurate. It may not have anything particularly to do with you, but it may have some relation. Um, so what we can do is we can go ahead and click on these things we're talking about to help you give you the uh, electrophysiological therapy for that. And when I first started this, I could I could actually feel it. Um, and what I I have this TMJ panel, so and it has a TMJ panel. And so when it was doing the TMJ, I could actually feel my whole jaw relaxing. Yeah. So and that's why I was. I was so impressed with it, you know, because I kind of had my doubts, but uh, uh, there's a lot of information on the internet. I see I'm on the Facebook group. They have several Facebook groups that are related to this, and I see testimonials all the time. So I, it's like, to me, it's like the alternative to shots and surgery. So, yeah. And, I mean, t to me, it just came right it fit right in place with what I was doing at the time. I don't know if it's the best, you know, alternative or complementary system, but I know that it just kind of worked and clicked for me. I I learned how to use a device, and I had uh, one of my best friends was actually selling the devices, and I was able to kind of like stick my foot in the industry door and get involved with it. But what happened is my friend, he um, actually... He was a high, you know, he was really involved with the sales end of it and everything, so he was doing a lot of sales. And uh, what happened was the company were, was giving him all these boosts and commissions and all this stuff, and there was people going out to these trade shows, and they were saying that it could cure cancer and all this yeah, stuff. And overdoing it. Yeah. So uh, the FDA uh, got down on it. Yeah. And so when this happened, my, my partner, one of my friend who was selling these, he got, um, he had to change his whole business. He had to change every word he used, basically, in a, in a sales program. And it was just like, and then his sales reduced down to like a quarter of what he was doing. And the company sort of promised him a, a salary. And then because no one was making any money, you know, he just bailed on it because um, it, it, wasn't working out anymore so but meanwhile I kind of like carried the carried the torch here locally he actually left he actually left the area so these are some uh, these are some stress factors asbestos is over 100 it's not too high everything pharmaceuticals could be in the drinking water Tobacco? Do you smoke? Are you near anyone who smokes? Because it's nearly impossible. Yeah. Okay, so here's some things that came up. Limp entwined with pineal, entwined with occipital lobe, beryllium, conjugated, what is it? Con conjugated too small? Beryllium. Beryllium, is that? That's some weird little element. Okay, yeah. Okay, so anyway. Bowel flora. So, you think about your bowel flora. Oxygen arterial. 
So, you know, I know I can't do it either, but uh, the teacher says that basically you should get that aerobic activity a couple times a week, three times a week. So yeah. it's definitely the heart is definitely working um, higher than normal heartbeat activity for 20 minutes. That helps to get the cardiovascular thing going, right? I mean, I, I like to do the cheat on this stuff, but it doesn't necessarily have to. It's not necessarily bringing the heartbeat up to higher than normal heartbeat to that activity for 20 minutes. You know? Something like jumping rope. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because for me, my heart rate is much slower than the average person. Right, right. Every time I go to the VA, you know, they always go, oh, well, you know, it's very slow. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, the thing is, is that the way I figure, it, I mean, it's nice to have that slow metabolism, but the way I look at it is, well, a couple things is, first, you're going you're gonna to run into stress sometimes that's unpredictable, yeah. okay, and your heart's going to be going, whoa, all of a sudden, you know, so, and so when you do the regular activity, and like I said, I, I, I kind of lost, I lost it, I used to be pretty religious about it, but, you know, I get on my bike and I'll ride, you know, that's not really 20 minutes, and right. the, the guy who basically invented this thing is going like that, 20 minutes, a couple times a week, higher than normal activity, sustained, you know, right. and what it does is it keeps your arteries elastic, right. so, yeah, it keeps everything elastic and kind of uh, mobile, so, anyway, so that's, I mean, it would be nice, but, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like the idea of just ha not having to do life too much, you know, <laughs> just living it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, but I, I think I kind of liked out because, like, when I was younger, I got into surfing. Oh, so, like, because we go, we go out three times a week and we just, like, be all out, balls out, whatever, fighting yeah. those ways, trying to get past them, you know, well, all this stuff. Yeah. Okay, so here we have, this is the cervical vertebrae. The cervical is the neck area, right? Yeah. So it's saying here there's some stress in the cervical vertebrae. It's the C4. The C4 is, the C4 is right there where the neck connects to the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so it could be related to just general energy flow in your body, you know? So what we're going to do is we want you to just sit back and relax, take a nice deep breath, feel, sense, or imagine energy going into the, the C4. Then we're going to give you a little electrophysiological therapy for that. And then uh, it shows a little stress in the C6. And the C6 is... Where's the C6? I'm not seeing it. C6 would be just below the C5, I would imagine. Is that what it says? Um, is that C6? C6. C6 would be more like down here by your sternum. Mm -hmm. And let's see, a little bit of inflammation. Excellent. So when you hear that word, it says excellent, it's read your body and found that you've, your body has physiological, electrophysiologically improved. So um, what we want to do, ideally, is we want to keep those, those words coming up when, uh, on the system. So anyway, so doesn't show much else going on with the uh, spine except here this is the it automatically went to therapy this is the L4 so the L4 L4 that's the right where the spine meets the butt right so here we're going to L4 is a little above that okay. I think it's L5 is one it's the very bottom I lived for 10 years with chiropractic. Oh, did you? I can do a lot of backing. So. Oh, you did chiropractic? Yeah, I had to work on them because they worked on everybody else. So it's something after them. You trained me to work on them. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Excellent. Okay, well, there's the there's the temporary NERC compression. It What is it? C, uh... It just says C. Oh, uh, cervical, uh, what is it? Cranial sacral. Okay, so and it has nutrition, this is dental biorhythm, bio limp digestion, we can go into all kinds of stuff. Uh, we're going to make a report, so it's going to add information to your file. Um, and let's see, anything else? This one here, we're going to go at that one again. And let's see, this one here, it looks like T10. 
little stress. And actually, and the other thing that got me going on this is that basically one of my teachers worked on me for about 15 minutes on my spine. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that night, I just like, I never felt like I had such a straight spine, you know. <laughs> And we're just going to go over some of these that are showing not corrected. Well, I get some adjustments to your spine. They're really easy to do. Yeah. So you might want to write that down. So what do we have? We have the temporary nerve. That's the cranial sacral. I'm not sure how to deal with that one. But uh, this one is a uh, supplication. Um, yeah. That's the whole problem. Is, is we walk around all day and compress our spinal cord and uh -huh. it causes suffocation. Uh -huh. And doing manipulations on it just brings back the space between them that needs to be there. T2, I guess it's a T2. And let's see, this is the T4. And let's see, this is the T6. I'll just do a whole run right there. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like what I do. Some people get into specifics on the software, mm -hmm. and I just try and go general as much as I can. Okay, there's a couple more pages I'd like to go into. And actually